Hello and welcome. This is a quick Gmail tutorial. Uh, this is really focused on a training I have recently done as a review session of what I went over during that training, but it will also serve as a brief overview. So first of all, to get to Gmail, we can start with Google and we can either access our handy dandy waffle over here and go to Gmail, or you can just click on this Gmail icon. It will uh, take a second to load. Um, a few important things that I want to port point out here at first look. Of course, we have our compose button here. We have our three up in the top left. We have our three hamburgers, which we can collapse and expand our menu here. All right, over here I have set this up to tabs, and you can see I have four tabs: primary, I have social, promotions, and updates. Um, and uh, these are these you may have uh, different tabs depending upon what you have set up. Uh, over on the left, of course, we have our inbox, and if we want to change different view, we can hover over this uh, menu right here, the super secret drop down menu, and we have some options. For example, we can look at our unread email first. So you can see right here some of my unread email. Um, if I want to go back, whoa, a little bit more. If I want to go back um, to uh, the tabs, I can go over here and go to default to see my tabs. Also, if I want to uh, notate a an email as important, remember I have these stars that I can click on. I can click it right there, and then I can just click it again if I don't want the star on. And I can star any of that email that I think is important. Also, um, just remember that we can access labels to label our email. Um, one way I can do that is I can click on my email and then I can come up here and I can uh, look for labels. If I don't have a label, um, then I can put it under right away and create a new label and nestle it under that label. And that just kind of helps me keep um, my email organized. So I went ahead and Apple added that label over here and you can see now it says T3. Looking at this specific website, I can see when I hover over it, I have a few options besides hitting the star. I can go ahead and archive it. I can delete it. I can mark it as unread or read right from here or I can snooze it. Remember, that's like the snooze button on your alarm. If I click on the email, I have some of those same options at the top, the archive, report as spam, delete, mark as unread, I got my snooze, and of course my labels, and um, my move to, which is moving it from your inbox into a different label. See, look, there's a star right there, ooh. Um, to get back to my inbox, I can go ahead and I can go to the back. Um, over here on my left menu, just as a reminder, I can look at uh, my email in different ways. For example, the st I can look at the starred, I can look at the sent. I have quite a few drafts apparently that I need to uh, clean up. And I could probably at this point just go ahead and click this box up here to select them all. And I am going to go ahead and I don't want to move them to the inbox. I want to discard my draft, so I'm going to click this button right here. All right. All my mail includes um, all the mail, including my archived mail here. You can see some of the mail I've archived, archived is still unread. Clicking back on my inbox, uh, and over here on my right side, I have um, some of these add-ons. The one we talked about during our session was the calendar add-on. I can go ahead and click the calendar add-on, and I can see my day at a glance. I can, uh, if I want to add an event to this day, I can just go ahead and click, and I can add an event right here, changing the time. I can add some guests to it if I'd like to, and I can change the time, and I can go ahead and save it and send off my invite. Um, Speaking of calendar invites, if you remember, if it is a calendar in invite and it is um, showing up in your inbox, you can go ahead and respond right to the invite in um, the calendar. And so this is a cal in the email, excuse me. So this is an email right here. I can tell it's a calendar because it says updated invitation. It also has this little calendar when I don't hover over it, um, above it. And then I can look for the RSVP and I can see whether I'm going, whether I'm not going. Um, and for this one, I'm gonna have to change that to a no. 
And so hopefully that gives you a reminder of what we looked at during the first day of our training. I know that was a lot uh, for what we did. And so hopefully that was a good review and you are ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching and have a great day.